What's up and welcome to the channel. We are back in the car shop updating you on a couple of the car projects we've got going on. We just got in this 2018 Camaro ZL11 LE. We've already got the engine out. It's getting a head and cam package and a Whipple supercharger. You may know the customer, it's NHRA funny car driver, Tony Bartone. The engine's already out of the car. It's next door in the engine build department, getting the cam installed, and the cylinder heads are in the CNC department getting ported. This is his third K-Tech built vehicle. When he wants more horsepower, he comes to K-Tech. This C7 Z06 is getting our stage four package. The engine's already back in the car. We've got the cam installed, the head's ported. It's just waiting on the supercharger. Now this is getting our new CNC ported supercharger housing and supercharger uh, snout. And we're just waiting on that porting and then it'll be back in the car. We've also added K-Tech valve covers and coil relocation kit. This C6 427 edition features an LS7 engine, so it's getting our LS7 Stage 2 package, which is head and cam, and it's getting bronze valve guides and the cylinder heads repaired. Just to recap on Street Speed 717's old Z06, It's been tuned, it's waiting to go to the body shop. That'll be scheduled in the next couple weeks as they get an opening to bring the car in. Uh, just to recap what the body shop's gonna be doing, they're gonna be painting the deck lid, they're gonna be repairing uh, the damage on the right rocker, and they're going to be reinstalling the factory door hinges and aligning the doors and touching up a few of the uh, paint items around the doors. This is an exciting new project. This is a LMPC race car. They raced in the WeatherTech United Sports Car Series in the PC class. K-Tech built the engines for the entire class in the series, and their last year was 2017. Now this car has been purchased by a private individual who's using it for a track toy. So the PC cars were built by Orca. It's a carbon fiber tub. Um, the engine is a stressed member of the chassis, so there is no uh, rear subframe. The engine connects to the drivetrain, and the wheels are bolted directly to the gearbox via the suspension. The transaxle is an X-Track sequential gearbox. It bolts to the back of the LS3. The suspension hangs off the gearbox and it's got all carbon fiber bodywork that goes around it. The WeatherTech series rules had these LS3s restricted at about 480 horsepower. Now that there are no rules because it's basically just a track toy, we can build whatever we want. So we've got an 800 horsepower C5R block engine to go in this 2,000 pound race car. So it's gonna be insane. Let's go take a look at the engine. Thank you, sir.
So this is the C5R 427 that's going in the PC race car. As you can see, it's got the PC dry sump system, which is this thick oil pan integrated uh, part of the chassis. So that's a structural piece. It's got a C5R race block, C5R race heads, solid roller, and C5R valve covers. This is the Kinsler vertical C5R intake manifold. There's some uh, stacks that will bolt onto here and then there'll be an air box. A lot of times you'll see KTEC valve covers on engines. These don't have them because they need the C5R race covers that are specific to the C5R heads. Now, just a reminder, the C5R engine was used in the Corvette that raced in the American Le Mans series from 1998 up until 2004. This is the same platform that has won the 24 hours of Le Mans with KTEC power. Again, this is 800 horsepower going into a 2,000 pound race car, so that'll be pretty interesting. So right now we see the original PC spec LS3 that the car came with. We're removing that now. We've got an all new line of merch. Go to ktechengines.com and click merch to look at hoodies, new t-shirts. We started with our basic logo shirts and we're adding new designs very soon. If you wanna see more build pictures, follow us on Instagram, at ktech underscore inc. And if you like this video, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe for further updates.